Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you. And today we're going to talk a little bit about GameStop, Ethereum, and some competition going into what's being developed right now around the world. So let's get into this. And I really want to talk about what you're seeing in the mainstream media, because businesses right now all around the world are starting to really get into find ways to utilize blockchain technology, from finance, manufacturing, even to gaming. Right now, even the more the media starts publishing articles and even report some on blockchain, Bitcoin, and Ethereum, even if they get to discuss anything about altcoins, you're going to realize what stage of education we're at the greater Joe and also Jane Public. This is the beginning stage for them. It's small steps. They're taking small steps to really get out there. They're not really into this because it's not feeding them money just like the brokerages, the hedge funds, and politicians and all of this because it's still in the back burner. But right now, the second biggest thing right now that you're probably being aware of is the whole idea and even market for NFTs. Crazy. Tens of thousands of dollars, even hundreds of thousands of dollars, even possibly millions for a possible Bansky that's going to be sold um, through the blockchain and crypto market, even an auction house. But every day I hear, even today, um, a huge, huge post on um, cryptocurrencies on Reddit. You know, you're hearing about NFTs as the biggest scam, a bigger rug pull. That's fine. You know, think about years ago when I was a kid, Cabbage Patch Kids, dolls, any Christmas toy that creates a frenzy because it's a must have. NFT is nothing different than this. It's a market that some have access to. And, you know, for some people, it's more power to them. I, hey, that's great. More power to you. If you're into it, do it. Baseball cards. You can think about any little thing that's collectible. There will always be a small niche for somebody to go and find a way to get into it, make money inside the ecosystem and let it thrive because right now if you have access to make money and serious money are you really going to walk away from it probably not i mean right now the nft market it, it can be a niche and it is it'll continue and continue to grow and some people are throwing their hands up how can this be well you know what it, it is happening and you know what if you don't want to be part of it fine but the people are into it hey i say more power to you they found a way to make money for that art and that's fine but it's not going away and you have to realize right now, this is the starting point of a new evolution of tech and also how we make, create, and live with this new form of technology, the cryptocurrency and blockchain. You know, the last arrow I can think of was Apple technology. We gave our money into products. We just poured our money into products of these things that have to have. And now the whole market system is evolving and changing. And how I see GameStop and Loopring and a couple other competitors going to this, I want to talk about Loopring NFT support on level two. Now, recently, Loopring has supported NFT minting, trading, and transfers directly in layer two for the ERC-721 and also the ERC-1155 token standards. If you don't know about that, you can go take a look. I'll put some links down below. And right now, with the layer two ZK rollups, they're welcoming this huge new possibilities for NFTs that go far beyond just JPEGs. It's faster, cheaper, and definitely a secure trading environment that allows creators and all these developers to experiment. That's the big thing. To experiment in this digital ownership even more so than ever before. All right. Because it's opening up greater opportunities for NFTs to flourish because the gas fees are going to be dropping to almost zero in instantaneous transfers. And I know that, for example, as I was engaged in some trading NFTs over the weekend and it took a long time and yes, it got really nasty and things disappeared. I, yeah, it, it's just. I get frustrated the whole layer one Ethereum right now. Um, a lot of things that happen, but yeah, we'll get on to that another time. Just you, you win some, you lose some. But right now, the functionality is now on a foundation of a new NFT marketplace, and that's what a lot of these exchanges are doing. And it's being a build, being built in partnership with Loopring. And this new partnership, hopefully, because in the end, they say quarter four. You know, we know what that is about GameStop setting up this new marketplace and for me i've been digging into as much research and coding as i can get it to and trying to figure out what they could be doing and how this is going to benefit the whole ecosystem you know what are the pros and what are the cons of this because for right now scaling is what's important all right because everyone knows who uses mints or trade you have nfts on ethereum knows about scaling this is the huge huge challenge facing this industry right now all right because the uniqueness of nfts are basically a key part of the desirability but also it's also the very thing that makes them expensive <laughs> and also illiquid to trade on a blockchain with very limited capacity. And again, shaking my head at this of just what I experienced this past week and I hate it. Now, many teams in various different businesses and even 
protocols. They're working on an extremely hard part to give to give players and studios what they want. All right, what we think and what we see in movies is going to be different from what we see on the platform. You have to understand this because scalable, instantaneous, and trustless minting and trading NFTs. That's what we need, and so that's what's being presented now. All right, so if you're an NFT holder, it's a very important to understand where they're being stored and not transferred to somebody else's wallet by a little letter. A lot of frustration. So if you're ever familiar with Immutable X, uh, they've been online for a few months now um, and uh, trading their tokens within about two weeks. The Immutable X is a next generation protocol for trading Ethereum NFTs. All right, it's giving users instant trade confirmations, massive scalability, and again, again, no gas fees without compromising custody. They're using the, the ZK rollups, and it's going to be different than what Loopring is doing. Now, the game, GameStop NFT market, I'm pretty much thinking this. They have to go big. They have to go bigger or they're going to go home. You got to aim big, hit big. Aim small, hit small. What a, what Immutable X is doing, they've got a good, decent website. Um, they do, Of course, there will be some issues going on with security, transfers, and just general token and little things. Every protocol... Every new technology will help bumps the road. But for what we're seeing, I'm keeping my eye on Immutable X right now. Um, and just the different trade, the different partners they have. And also um, the Sushi Swap show you their whole, I want to say virtual reality world that they've developed a very unique art space on. And looking at what can happen with GameStop. I'm really excited for it. But be aware, your expectations and what really comes out can vastly differ. All right, because when we think about the metaverse, what Meta, Zuckerberg's talking about, what all these big game companies are also talking about, it's going to be completely different than what we think about, what we all can relate to. What we want is Ready Player One, but that's not happening. Because the whole issue with NFTs, not just with art and people dealing, dealing small scale, a lot of game developers are protesting against this. I'm sure Epic Games, Fortnite, EA, all these companies are going to be going against it because they already have their in-house designers. And if their in-house designers are able to get part of the profits for this, I don't think they want to give up their art, their artists and even just deal with their artwork. I'm sure they're going to wait another year or two before they really dive head on into the blockchain NFT system because they really have to test the market. And again, this is a brand new open field for NFT blockchain gaming. Um, it's going to be a, there going to be a lot of headaches, a lot of ups and downs, but in general, very positive going forward with each new protocol. And again, with GameStop coming out, possibly a lot of the companies, AMC doing different token work and different, just attempting to do new things. And that's the thing, testing things out. This is where things get tested and for the public, how we interact in the community, how we react to that. Because the whole NFT community, if you're part of that community trading and selling NFTs for thousands of dollars, Hey, power to them. It's going to be growing larger. How do you want to partake in this? Because everything that's going to be going on with tokenization, with gaming, I don't see that happening for a long time. You know, if you're using a sword in Minecraft, you're not going to be able to take that sword into, you know, League of Legends. You've got a gun in another game. You're not going to be able to transfer that weapon to another game. The programming alone would be insane to do that. Because, again, what you see in the movies, Ready Player One, and what can happen right now with the technology, it's not even there. It's not even close yet. Um... Reading and, and talking and hearing some discussions from a lot of developers. Yeah, they're they're encouraging, but again, they're bringing everything back down to reality. So again, all of you, look at Mutable X. Think about, love to know what you think about it. Uh, Legend also, what do you think about the NFT market? It's insane. Again, um, you pros or cons for it, but also going forward the next three to four weeks, what's going to happen with the exchange book with, N with the NFT and GameStop? All right. So you guys have a great morning, have a great afternoon, and uh, remember, game on.